What's going on, my extraordinary people? Congratulations. Why? Because you're in the den with Aaron EBM. Thank you for everybody who took the time out to come and watch my video today. It's very much appreciated, but I need some help from you guys. I need you to go ahead and push subscribe and like on this video for more of this content. You, it'll help me out. You know what I say. This is not my full-time job, so I'm always out here grinding, hustling, doing extraordinary things to bring you the content that you love. But I appreciate the help, and I appreciate the support. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. We're living in an era and a time to where hard work and worth ethic is undervalued extremely undervalued and you can even see the way that hard work is undervalued or devalued now by the whole reasoning and institution behind higher education you know we're taught to you know go to school um, get an education so you won't have to work hard like your parents did or your grandparents did and you can pretty much make more money without the hard labor or the hard work. And then you add in the glorification of the, you know, the million dollar earners, the high earners that you see on Instagram and Facebook everywhere telling you that, you know, if you follow their rules, if you follow their three steps, you can live like them. You know, you've seen the commercials, you've seen the infomercials where the guy has a Lamborghini or a Ferrari in his garage and he's telling you that you could read a hundred or a thousand books a, a, a month or a day and then you can turn out to be just like him. You can make thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars a month and you don't have to work hard and you can just sit back and let that money work for itself. But if you if you really look at it, if you really think about it, that's a, 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 a fantasy. That's a falsehood. That is a glorification of of just wanting the money without working hard. And if you if you really look at it, if you really think about it, the people that own these businesses, the entrepreneurs, the the anybody that pretty much makes money for themselves or write their own checks, they work extremely hard. They work harder than the average person. They work harder than the average graduate to sustain their businesses, to live out their dreams. And this is what you don't really see in media. This is what you don't really see on Facebook or on Instagram or whatever social media you're using. All you see is the end result. All you see is the the, the glory, the money, the admiration that these people are get, people are getting. But what you fail to see is like I'll use uh, Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk. If you're not familiar with Gary Vaynerchuk or Gary V, you go on YouTube. Uh, he is a, a media or a marketing mogul. He is a motivational speaker and a uh, entrepreneur through a wine company. And if you really look at what he does and what he speaks about and how he portrays himself or what he has done in the past, it's, it, it is totally opposite. You see on social media telling you that you can just sit back and not work and then make all these millions of dollars. Or if you look at it, he'll tell you he had to work out countless hours building, helping his father build this wine company. You know, he worked for maybe thirty, forty thousand $40,000 a year trying to build his father's now multi-million dollar company and he put in late nights you know early mornings the first one to come in the last one to leave um, put in countless hours on um, twitter tweeting people back and forth just talking about wine at the beginning of i think it was 2006 ish the beginning of youtube's inception he was on twitter and on youtube uh building his the empire that he built from his for his father so it was not easy you know, how many of us sit on Facebook or on Instagram for a few minutes or a few hours and like, you know, you don't even want to do that and it's not even work. So you can imagine how it, how it feels to have to sit up for hours just tweeting people to um, back and forth to get your 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 business afloat or get your name out there. You know, even though it's it is it, it is electronic and it's not backbreaking labor that is still uh, extremely hard to do, because if you think about it, the average person will always find an excuse not to do uh, the hard work. Like, um, I'll even admit myself, who, who out there has actually felt like, you know, you're working and, and you come home and then the first thing you say when you have projects or or you have something that you, a deadline that you want to get done, the first thing you say is, like, you know, I don't have time, I'm tired, you know, my, my life is hectic, I can't do it, uh, I, just, I just don't have the time to do it. And you really look at it, you do. So um, if you haven't paid attention, get a book, a, a pamphlet, a dollar notebook, and then log how much time you actually waste after you get home from work. 
you know, log every time you sit down and watch a TV show, log in, log the name of the TV show and log how long you sat down and watched it. And then go tally up the hours at the end of the week. And then you will actually see how much time you actually flush down the toilet when you could have been being more productive. And that goes for anything, especially like um, if you want to get healthy or get in shape, you know, uh, build build your body to be here longer for your kids. The first thing you say is I work, you know, I can't do it. I don't have the time. But if you look at how many hours that you watch, even here on YouTube or on your favorite streaming service, you have the time. You just don't want to dedicate that time to hard work, you know, and exercising is hard work. That's how they swindle so many people on buying these little gadgets and, and things like that on uh, infomercials to let you skip ahead of the hard work it takes to lose weight. You know, you 30 minute ad machines and, you know, you take these pills and all the all the fat is going to melt away and, and they're selling you a shortcut. And in actuality, there is no shortcut. You know what I'm saying? You have to you have to put in that work. It, 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 it is it sucks sometimes, you know, it's grueling on your body. But you, at the end, the end result is being in a place that you want to be being in a, um, a completing a goal that you set for yourself and and having and having that sense of accomplishment that you can't take a shortcut on so this is what um media is doing to people and and they're actually taking advantage of you wanting to take those shortcuts or not wanting to go through the pain you know that like that old saying goes no pain no gain it's, it's the truth you got to put in the pain you know and that doesn't even go for you know body sometimes it's mental Sometimes you have to come home and put in an extra uh, four or five hours if you're actually if you have projects or if you do have a side hustle, you know, your hour doesn't stop at, you know, from nine to five or whatever. Sometimes it's, you know, the night you, you go through sleepless nights, you know, um, I don't know how many times my wife complain or, or, you know, get upset at me because I'm in here making videos at 11, 12 o'clock, you know, on a Monday night trying to get these videos out to you. But I do understand that. Hard work and sacrifice comes with wanting to build, wanting to be greater. And that's what uh, people are missing. You have to understand that sometimes you have to sacrifice the, your leisure and, and to be able to build or get to the next level. You know, and that's and that's what you don't see. You don't see the background work. You know, you see the, 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 the end goal. You don't see how much people had to sacrifice, you know, and. Uh, hard work and dedication and worth ethic is something that is not dictated by, you know, your genetic makeup. You know, some people do have the edge. You know, if you know playing basketball, a six foot five person is going to have the edge over a six foot person, you know, th with the ability to dunk. But hard work evens the playing field. Worth ethic e equals the playing field. You know, you can outwork anybody and be any stature. You look at uh, Kevin Hart, for instance, you know, Kevin Hart. Uh, one while was grinding you seen him everywhere you know doing everything putting in that time you might not like all the projects he worked on but you know you couldn't take away from the brother's work ethic and you look at the rock you know i'm you know six foot five doing the same thing you know and they're like night and day but the, the thing that puts them together that bonds them is the work ethic that they have what I said in the beginning, you know, the, the society has made our society, the Western society has made it taboo to want to work hard. That's why um, I talked about the skills to make the bills in the last video, the skills to pay the bills. You know, your your skilled laborers, your your bricklayers, your your electric electricians, your plumbers, all of these jobs can pay in the high five or if, if you're really good at it, if you have big contracts can be could be six figures. But it's praised the person that goes to college and, and gets the bachelor's degree in general ed or the bachelor's degree in business administration making 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars out the gate is 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 praised or put on a pedestal above the person that's the skilled laborer the the, the person that went to trade school and making 60 80 thousand uh, dollars in his trade so this is things that we have to uh, really realize and get away from the fact that hard work is something that should be praised you should want to work hard you shouldn't frown upon a man when they are working with their hands when they're doing things that are, are productive to their self and society because you really look at it the sky's the limit for those people in those skilled labor jobs those trade jobs too you know and i talk about myself i, I, I do not work um 
I work a, a white a white collar job now, but anytime my job requests me to get out and get my hands dirty, I can do that. That kind of trait is invaluable. You know, you can't you can't replace it, which is why I believe I've been blessed to be put in the position I am now because I can I can with a with a, with a snap do you know my ju my duties in my office and then I can go pick up a sledgehammer or pick up a, a wrench and go build some things. And it should be praised to be able to work with your hands and it should be praised to have worth work ethic and do whatever it takes to be able to get yourself to the next level. Not just a person that is a uh, white collar over the man that is getting dirty. So I got a question. People that, that especially in our community, you know, collegiate people that are, you know, undergraduates, you know, with their bachelor's degrees. Why are they praised over the skilled, the skilled labor men and the tradesmen that are making could be making and possibly are making twice as much as they are get down in the comment section let me know you what's going on why why is that such a big thing in our community and what can we do to change that let me know in the comment section what you guys think and what can we do to combat that And the end of the day guys i just want you to know that there are no shortcuts you know if you don't believe in the hype and in the in the uh, magical fairy tale and a pixie dust uh, lifestyles and jobs out there because they do not exist and if they do exist you know they're in the one tenth of a percent of the population and it's not meant for everybody to, to have these kind of lifestyles and that no matter what you do no matter what you want out of life no matter what your your path or your lifestyle is if if, if you want to be successful hard work is going to come with it there's no there's no uh, um, way around it uh, no matter if it's exercise if it's career related if you want to succeed and you want to excel in that hard work is just right behind there that's every every successful person that you see out there the the one thing they have in common no matter what race they are no matter what religion they are that they sacrifice they put in the time and the hard work to be where they're at and you can't take that away from them and you have to look at it you have to really study and do some introspection into why these people are where they are in life and if you see that and if you get that use those tools you can't get around it there's no that you know they're, they're, that's why you see so many you know women out there or in, in you know men trying to get fast money and live fast lives because nobody <laughs> Humans are going to try to take the road of less resistance regardless. You know, that that's that's part of fight or flight and getting away from having um, um, stress. Um, the easiest path is a straight path, right? So, but we have to remember, and I'm going uh, to give you this um, a little analogy that my son gave me that I got from, you know, sometimes if you sit back and look and talk to young people, you you can be ama amazed at how what lessons that you can learn from them. So, him and his mom went to Dollar General and he came, you know, he had some allowance money. So they went to Dollar General and bought some snacks and uh, drinks and stuff like that. And he came home and I said, man, you know, he had a, a full two liter of ginger ale. And I was like, man, what? You got a whole soda, a whole two liter? Why don't you get a, a 20 ounce at the front? And he said that, dad, I didn't have enough for the 20 ounce up front because it was like $2, two plus dollars. But when I went to the back, there was a whole two liter for a dollar twenty five and I was able to get that. And I said, You understand why that happens or why was it like that? Why could you get more for less money? And he said, No. And I said, So, so this is what it is. I said, You're paying for convenience. A soda that is right there in the front by the cash register in a cooler is convenient. It's cold. You don't have to take it home and put it in the freezer or put it in a cup of ice. You can just go and drink it. But it takes more energy to go there to the back and get that warm soda. So it costs less. So that's what I want you to see, people. Sometimes the road less traveled or the harder road can yield more in the long run. So going out of your way might suck. It might feel like you're 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 alone. It might feel like you're you're working extra hard. That hard work is going to yield more at the end.
So thank you guys. I'm gonna let that be the end of the video. I appreciate you guys stopping by with me. Let me know if you like this content. Let me know if you have any ideas. You can drop me some um, suggestions in that uh, the comment section, or you can email me. My email is actually attached. So I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I will see you next time. Peace.